Canada has named its team to face Scotland A at Twin Elm Rugby Park in Ottawa. It's the first team selection for Kieran Crowley, who worked with assistant coaches John Tate, Morgan Williams and Kevin Werchowski to get the squad picked. There is pace aplenty in the backs, with James Pritchard at fullback, Dean Van Camp and Justin Mensacoker on the wings, and Mike Pike working in the centres with David Spicer. In the back row, there is a rookie selection for first-year flanker Andrew Wilson, who has played at Doncaster after a mid-season change from Scottish side Hoyk. Sandra Wilson, your first selection to uh, Canadian senior side. Uh, first of all, were you surprised? Did you, did you think you uh, had a reasonable chance? Well, everyone has a reasonable chance when they try out, you know. So I just tried my best, and Karen thought he uh, saw something in me, so here I am. It's been a big year for you, uh, starting off in Scotland at Hayrick, and then, then what was it Hayrick? Uh, Hoyk. Hoyk. Uh, those Scottish pronounce things funny. Yeah, and then off to Doncaster after that, so it's been a big season for you. And now uh, taking on uh, Scotland A, uh, is it a little all hard to take in at once? Well, it, it's all kind of happened at once. It, when it rains, it pours, you know, so it's um, everything happened. I was in Scotland real, real, doing real well there and then went to Doncaster, everything happened, and then I'm here all of a sudden. So it'll be good. It'll be good against Scotland A, though, um, playing guys that you know, I've, I've used to play against in the Scottish Premiership and that kind of stuff, so I know a few guys on the team, so it'll be good. And a uh, very quick week of training to get ready for this game, but it seems like uh, this group's coming together pretty tight in a short order. Yeah, well, it's been good. The, the training sessions have been a bit longer than we're used to, but that, that's really paid off. I think we're gelling quite well. The last few training sessions have been quite good, so I think we've done pretty well for it all. Coach Crowley's got some uh, new uh, moves and new technology terminology in place uh, is everyone uh, grasping that pretty quick yeah there is a bit of different terminology but we're all kind of on the same page He's, he is bringing some um, I guess innovative ideas that that are helping a lot and just a bit uh, like a new perspective at it all it's it's I think it, everyone's really um, you know getting onto it and helping it's helping everyone so any of the older players giving you any advice, unsolicited or otherwise? Oh, there is there is quite a bit of advice going around. The veterans, you know, they know a lot, and you can, you, got, you always have to listen to what they're saying, and because they, they do have the experience, and you have to respect that. So, well, congratulations on your first selection. Thank you very much. Ed Fairhurst is a co-captain of this side, along with Pat Riordan. He's excited to see what this new coaching setup and new faces on the field can do. So Ed, uh, taking the helm of this 2008 Barclays Churchill Cup team with Pat Riordan, and uh, first of all, uh, what, what are your feelings about uh, getting that uh, mantle with new coach Kieran Crowley? Um, he's he's uh, he's a good coach. He, he brings a lot to the team. Um, he's very knowledgeable in what he wants to do and uh, and where he sees the team going. And he's kind of put it on the players as well to uh, to develop game plans for ourselves or and talk about it amongst each other to figure out what we want to do. He's not just going to sit at the top and just uh, and just tell us what to do. He's actually involving the players quite a bit more. So it's it's good for developing the team and uh, and good for everybody on the whole. Seems like uh, it might be a more uh, backs oriented type of uh, attack in this uh, particular edition of the Canadian team. Must be exciting for you. Uh, definitely, yeah. Um, with the brand of rugby we want to play, I think it's going to be uh, extremely exciting. You know, we're going to we're going to mix it up, and, and and depending on what the defense gives us, we're going to play uh, whatever we see. But uh, we definitely have the potential to to move the ball wide and to play some exciting rugby. Now, are you trying to put everyone's mind away from two years ago, the close game against Scotland? Is that like just history, and you just don't worry about it? Absolutely, yeah. We don't we don't even think about that. Uh, it's never really even come up. We're just thinking about uh, the game this Saturday and what we have to do to to beat Scotland. And you got a young flanker, Andrew Wilson, playing his first game. You got some good veterans. Tell me a little bit about Andrew Wilson. He's a real exciting find, isn't he? Yeah, he is a good player. Um, he's he's very good over the ball, and he, he's very uh, knowledgeable when it comes to rugby. Uh, I think he's been playing for Doncaster for the last year, so he's got some good experience over in the UK, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing him play. Forwards coach John Tate is confident that with the players they have, a significant side can emerge in this tournament and over the course of the year. So John Tate, first selection for this Barclays Churchill Cup. Was it uh, a tough process? Uh, new coach, a lot of new players, there must have been a lot of discussion. Yeah, there always there always is around selection and uh, no selection is ever easy. Even, uh, even when there's some obvious ones, it's still tough for the other guys. Uh, um, because everybody's been working hard in three days, it's uh, you know we haven't you know some of the guys aren't really in in the squad yet competing for a position, so uh, you know that it'll be performance based from here on out. And uh, the first one, it's good to good to get it done, and, and uh, hopefully it's the right selection. Uh, talk to me about Andrew Wilson getting his first cap. You know he was really below the radar maybe a year ago. He was known amongst the under 20s and things like that, but he's really burst onto the scene. 
Yeah, we uh, we were aware of Andrew when he was with the uh, under 21s uh, a couple of years ago, and then he's uh, we've kept a tab on him and uh, when he was playing over in Scotland this year, and then uh, we went to Doncaster. We have a connection there with uh, it's one of my old coaches. Uh, there, Lynn Howells. Uh, so yeah, Andrew's played well and he's had some good reports and he's done well in the NA4 uh, series and based on his uh, performance in the NA4 he's uh, got uh, into selection uh, for this game. So giving away too many company secrets, is the approach that this Canada team going to have uh, vastly different from a more forwards oriented game that has been the Canada hallmark of the past? Um, yeah, well I think uh, the approach is there for the players. Uh, you know, we want the uh, we want the players to take control of the game and uh, play an attractive style. I think in the in the past that was the goal as well, but you know it's down to the guys in the pitch to to, to put those options into into practice. And what about Scotland? I know you're trying to get your own house in order, but uh, you know it was a close match two years ago. But probably not even worth thinking about what happened two years ago. So much has happened since then. Yeah, exactly right. We we really have uh, you know we have no film on them. They're they're like a lot like us in the fact that they've just. Uh, They've just arrived here and uh, put together a team. Uh, they're, uh, we, you know, some of our players play over in the league there, so they know they know the players. So we know some individual stuff, and uh, we know some of the tendencies of their coaching staff. But you know, we're really more concerned about our, our performance right now, uh, especially going forward uh, in this Churchill Cup with the new group. Uh, we have spent the last few days trying to get our systems in place and uh, and everybody on the same page. So uh, that that'll be the concern, you know. And we'll you know we'll get some film for the next game and probably start looking at other teams from here on out. Well, good luck in your first game of 2008. Thanks very much. Kickoff is 4.30 against Scotland A at Twin Elm. First kickoff is 2 p.m. when the USA takes on England. Reporting for the Barclays Churchill Cup Rugby Tournament, Doug Crossman, Ottawa.